Let me start with the coaching decision with uh, Coach K in the you know final seconds there of going to R.J. Barrett instead of Zion Williamson. I know we have the benefit of you know hindsight here, but in the moment, what did you think Coach K was going to do? Well, um, again, if if you ask any basketball guy who's been around um, the, the the high school and the AAU circuit for the last five years, they'll tell you that R.J. Barrett was seen as one of the best closers at this age that we'd ever seen. Like, that's what he does. He makes plays down the stretch. You know, you go back and look at what he did with Team Canada and what he's done leading up to this point. Um, I also think, I don't know necessarily if it was to go to, like what they basically ran was they, they tried to get the ball to Zion and spread out and let him go one-on-one, and if he couldn't get past his man, he passed to R.J., and then R.J. would try and do the same thing. And they had spacing issues because they just don't have enough shooting. So I, I don't know if it was specifically, hey, we're going to R.J., ISO, everybody out of the way, a la Michael Jordan when he first got in the NBA. But I would tell you that, you know, um, R.J. missed a free throw. Uh, he, you know, he got to the free throw line, had a chance to make a free throw to tie the basketball game, and he, he missed one. But, I mean, that was – RJ not coming through was actually a huge surprise for most people who followed him. His game is not perfect, but he's a hell of a player and a great competitor and one that's seen as a great closer. Where would you put Zion this one and done year as far as exciting college basketball players, exciting college basketball players? Exciting. I I can't think of anything more exciting than watching him. And I've, I've, you know, look, I've my entire life. uh, I've watched this tournament. And my entire professional life after two and a half years of professional basketball has been covering this sport. I've never been more excited because he, he, it's a combination of things, right? It's the jaw dropping athleticism at both ends. Like most kids when they're freshmen, it's like they play like the courts tilted. You know, where, <laughs> when you're running forwards, they're great. They have backwards. You're like, yeah, you know, I just do that to, to make, uh, to make ends meet. Um, but, you know, there, there was a play he made in the Sweet 16 where his knees kind of got buckled in transition trying to guard the ball, and he was beaten, and then he recovered and blocked the shot. I'm like, dude, I've, that's, it's unbelievable. So in terms of excitement, and then you could kind of feel like you watched him improving as you watched him play more games. Yeah. Like, if you watched him at the start of the year, he was good, but he was he's getting more comfortable shooting the basketball. He's getting more comfortable um, in, in terms of, of of how he handles the ball in the perimeter against different types of pressure defenses. He's obviously a very, very active and athletic post player. Um, and and there, there's some flaws that you see there, but in terms of exciting, if you use that word, oh, dude, I mean, tell me something you've been more excited to see than Zion Williamson play college basketball. I can't remember it. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.